you'd think that just stepping up and overlooking the world, you know, whatever that world is that we each have, would be a natural thing. But it just turns out it's not. When you're submerged in your world, you're not thinking always about just lifting above and thinking about all, all the dynamics that are going on. And so for me here in Fishtown, when I think of getting on the balcony, I quite literally find myself often just rising above and see what's going on with the river. Is, is, the, uh, is the water rising? To see the, the tenants that are here with their own business interests and concerns and the folks who are coming in to visit in that larger community. Again, it's rising up gives you the layers. To think about being above Fishtown also reminds me of the people, not just the problems we have to do day by day, but to step aside and think how many people love this place and to take in that as well. So it's not just dealing with problems, it's also remembering and dealing with the good things and enhancing those. That the part of the Rotary leadership is emphasizing every once in a while, more often than people might normally do, to just step back and, and lift up a little bit and look around and take stock. And that can be what's going well, what's not going well, what are things that you want to see movement in? What are things that you're being, you know, like sometimes it can feel down here, you're just grabbing the tail and you're just being pulled around to all these emergencies and urgent things and stepping back and being more thoughtful in how you're approaching these things. And it's also recognizing you're an individual, you're a human being with emotions and concerns and a lack of sleep and meetings the next day and people you've got and money you have to raise. Of How does that feel inside? Because so, uh, we're carrying tensions with us, so we can have very, you don't want that to impact interactions that you're having with people or rush decisions. It just gives you a chance to, to step back and take stock. And dealing with COVID, you know, starting back in March, even that has been a changing dynamic the whole way. First thinking about staffing and um, thinking ahead too to all the businesses that we have here and how are they going to be handling it. Of course, at first everyone just thought it'll be a few weeks, but I think for a lot of us as well, you kind of realize, no, this is not something that's just going to go away. How are we going to handle this? First to look after our staff and each, and each other, um, and then to start planning ahead towards what's going to be coming down the road. And one of the early steps that we took, um, realizing because they were worried, and it's like, well, what can we do right now that will calm that worry? Not thinking one business at a time, but we actually lowered all of their rents, um, gave them this year 40%, just off the bat and just lowered it down we just had to be ready to shift gears and, and shift perspectives in order to be able to do what we could for them. Even as the waters are rising and we have projects that are going on to help deal with the waters. So it's just part of the dynamics of every day.